There we go. Everything should be set up correctly. Now, oh, hopefully this doesn't get like copyright struck or oh, whatever on YouTube. Whatever. You know what? <laughs> Fuck Blue Dragon. <laughs> we'll leave it up. <laughs> good morning, Metal Dude. Good mo oh yeah, good morning, Randy. Good morning, Metal Dude. Good morning, Jimmy Map. Good morning, the Ghost. Good morning, Tower Shield. Good morning, Nimitan 2D. Good morning, Mega Doopers. Good morning, Ren Bado. Good morning, Little Princess Estrella de Lopez. Good morning, Drawing Damon. Good morning, Domitao. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> welcome to, uh... Oh yeah, PS2 has to actually load. Yeah, I made eggs and toast in like... 20 minutes or whatever. And good morning, Alkia Noah. It's Tongue's Hope. I'm sorry, it's God. It's God is dead. <laughs> uh... I've got eggs and toast. Hello? There we go. Okay, good. It is working. Yeah. Hmm. And I have time to cook them how I like them. I'm that son of a bitch that likes his eggs a little overcooked. Low and slow, baby. But, uh, eh. Medium to medium hard. Yeah, these are soft. Had to go fast. Fried eggs fast and low. You need the yolk runny. I hate the yolk runny. I get... I get angry. I start, like, running around the house just, like... Knocking furniture down. It's unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the runny yolk makes me run around. <laughs> it's scramble on high eat. Or maybe. Alright, got the hot sauce. Yeah, I don't really need to taste the eggs. Yeah. It's probably good for you. <laughs> I do wonder if it's better to, like, cook them or not. I mean, not, like, eat them raw, but, like... How much does it go? How, how, how much, uh... How much does, like, heating the proteins up and fucking with them, like, affect your digestion? You know what, yeah. Was Rocky right? I feel like raw eggs aren't good for you. I'll watch the whole intro while I eat breakfast. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, like, the human body has evolved to actually fucking eat cooked food. Like, you get less out of uh, raw meat than cooked meat, right? All those guys LARPing a, as cavemen, right? You just like, take a chunk of raw meat and bite into it and you like, level up. <laughs> raw egg on rice with soy sauce. I mean, it cooks it, yeah? Like, that's half the point. Right? Okay. And the rice cooker, ooh. But yeah, I feel like the toast... It's just the uh, sourdough bread slices from the store. But I put them in the frying pan after the eggs. With a little more butter in between. It's good. Do you put the egg on halfway through, or do you put the egg on, like... At the start? <laughs> 
the like while there's all the water and stuff in there. Oh god. Oh, they really like that intro. At the start, at the end? I'm getting conflicting information. Not a very good job then. Why is the rice cooker burning the rice? Huh. Well, time to beat says this game is, uh... Six hours? And we're, uh, four hours in. Apparently? It's not right. We're, like, seven hours in. But, like, the majority of that was spent on the, uh... The Shakespeare puzzle. Good morning, Hot Dunkston. Welcome to the mukbang. <laughs> There's more victims. Hey, wait, hold on. The fats are harder to break down. Your body's not getting as much out of the fats. The fats are good for your brain. Okay. Huh. I gotta start eating more meat. I gotta, I gotta learn how to, like, cook some good chicken. So I can have chicken and egg on my rice. Hmm. I'll take more victims, actually. <laughs> Is it loading? Okay. Get it hot for, like, ten minutes? Well, I mean, yeah, I can... <laughs> But like, what I what I put the chicken on? What I cook it with? I find a I found a nice recipe for like a, a pan sauce after you make your chicken. And I do want to. I want to do like a chicken stock homemade. Because I've heard that's a lot better than store bought chicken stock. Like infinitely better. But uh, I don't know what to do with the chicken. The guy that did this. <laughs> huh. But yeah, Hero Forge custom miniatures. They're kind of funny, yeah. Curry. Huh. Yeah? Doesn't sound bad. Uh, welcome to the hospital. <laughs> Tell me who. Uh. Oh, motherfucker, are you kidding me? I'm gonna be really mad if that one bathroom is open. What did we get? You know, they, uh, you're gonna outdo everyone at the table. Yeah, because your, uh, your brain is digesting all the fats in your, uh, in your eggs. Leftover roast chicken for curry. Oh. Hmm. Thinking about getting a whole fucking Costco rotisserie chicken. And then using that. <laughs> I don't have to bother cooking it. But I, I really want to learn how to make a chicken stock. Ah. Okay, we got the stairwell key. Hmm. Plus six to hit with your funny magic musket at level four. What the fuck? Congrats on rolling ones from now on. <laughs> Good morning, Marshmallow980. Yeah, you know what's really annoying? I think... You know, it's been like several weeks, so maybe I'm insane, but I swear. You have to use the select button to pause, uh, to open up the menu. In the Silent Hill 1. And the pause button pauses it. And then, like, they changed it to be the other way around in Silent Hill 2. And then Silent Hill 3, it's back to the select button to open the menu and then like yeah I don't know I might be crazy honey roast chicken well oh. I don't think I've made a curry myself huh I I'm eating and now I'm hungry <laughs> Oh, 
I've got like half a piece of toast left. I'm going insane. Hmm. I kind of want to try the perfume just to see what happens. Eggs suck. That's why I got the toast. Oh yeah, I put garlic powder on it because I was lazy. If I was uh, if I was going crazy and going hardcore, I would have put garlic in with the butter on the pan for the eggs and for the toast. Like that would have been good. You know. Hmm. Still haven't used the pendant for anything. Wonder if it is gonna be a thing. Looked at the notebook earlier. So yeah, just stay well, Keith. Don't do it. That's the one where they talk about like the likelihood of someone being the imposter in it. Yeah. Yeah. I got close to my mouth like an animal girl. I'm going to, go to, to school. I'm going to, like, impact with the main character. It's going to be really funny. Alright. Yeah. Sorry. An assassin being suspicious. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, I saw this. <laughs> Do you understand any of that? You shouldn't have. I was saying how I had the piece of toast in my mouth like an anime girl on the way to school. I'm gonna like bump into the main character. Yeah, I'm playing like a game. I'm using like my wrist on the control stick. And I'm holding the toast with that left hand. Uh, stairwell should be over here. Hold on. There we go. This is this door, right? Okay, good. <laughs> Anyways. We did it. We beat anime. The toast is gone. Right there. Wow. Hmm. I love basements. There, uh... Hmm. Oh. Really? Fucking submachine gun. By God, a miracle. <laughs> Fucking really? Well, it's scarred with bullet marks. What the hell were they shooting at? Huh. A fucking submachine gun. <laughs> we go Rambo. Do a wheel, dude. Don't hit the camera. <laughs> Television. We're we gonna get another like Silent Hill game show bit. This is suspicious space between the shelf and the wall, but I can't squeeze into there. There's no way I can move the shelf either. Don't have the jack. Hmm. Streaks of blood as if someone got dragged. They continue on the back of the shelf. Look, they start from the back of the shelf. Can you, like, move it? I guess not. Weird. 
Ultra continues the elevator part of me also peek in, but then it's a little creepy too. Mm. Maybe it's curry. <laughs> mm. Let me double check. Nothing here, right? Guess they must be in that elevator. Alright. <laughs> okay. Can't wait to use the SMG on something. That feels a little silly. Like, I'm a huge fan of just, like... Practical tools in a horror setting. We're giving them the same voice actors, paper sister. Oh god, oh fuck, oh god, oh fuck, I didn't mean to click this. No. <clears throat> We're free. I'm just talking with, like, <laughs> undigested toast in my gullet. Like a bird. That's fucked up. The birds just do that. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Virginia A1. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, we haven't been to the third floor. No content, baby. There's a memo on the wall. Punishment for brutality towards patient. 12 hours confinement in the special treatment room. Dismissal policy no longer in effect. Contact the chief if you have any questions. There's something handwritten on the top of the typewritten sentence. The trick is not to leave any marks. And one other thing. This looks like it was written by a different person. The chief is a pervert. Christy would have been better off if she had been fired. Contact Mr. Cheese. Good, good night, Gene. No, oh, keep sending Rouge the bat <laughs> with the huge Narcus. It's the only thing that can save you. This fucking guy. Oh, okay. Wait, no. Blowing freely your ebony air like the night sky, scattering fragrance by heart, clamming in my chest like a stormy trifle with your pristine glance like a feast when you smile, my thoughts disturbed, my breath like opium drives me mad. Eric, a great poet who conveys my feelings so well, I shouldn't have let this place get to me, I never should never have gone crazy, but it's superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you, but why won't you accept proof of my love? Don't stand on ceremony now. After all, you and I exist as one, what I give to you is the same as what I give to me. Stanley Mole Man. Can't wait to be locked in here. Oh no. Mint's <laughs> birthday's next week. This is. Nothing? That was the bit. Right click save. Set as desktop. Set as lock screen, set as screensaver. Uh set as contact you know, profile for uh mental health clinic. <laughs> what if you were like a fucking therapist and you accidentally see like your, your patient's phone and <laughs> you got the fucking contact for yeah, you as the therapist like the is <laughs> just rose <laughs> the bat <laughs> huge tits <laughs> How would that affect your evaluation? 
cleaning supplies. <laughs> Good morning, Jack Zero Zero. Huh? Welcome to hell. I love poetry. Hello, my most sacred lover. I'm always watching you, no matter where you are, or whatever you may be doing. I have never lost sight of you. I know you feel intensely lonely, and there is a single key to this door. I was feeling won't stand in the way any longer. We haven't been able to see each other for so long. Be patient, it's just a little longer. I'll be patient to even I will to hold you in the hands of mine. The key is behind the shelf in the underground garage. Why there? I have been only a doctor. There's not a single person here who's right in the head. Not just in this hospital. I mean, the whole final hill. Except me. Mr. Mole Man. Good morning, Mega Mook. Oh, sorry, I actually slipped into my real voice for a second. <laughs> no, no, it's not very. I know she's a bait, but you don't understand. You see, there's no snout. It doesn't count. Alright, nice. Okay, get me out of here. <laughs> Biden blast. No. That's it, isn't it? Cool. <laughs> you missed out on the, uh... Engaging curry discussion. Oh, fuck. No. No. All right. Hold on. That oh, is no zero. I was gonna type in 0451. Is Thailand Hill an 0451 game? Uh, yeah, we gotta go back to the basement. Uh, let's check the roof. Did it? No. No, it's just um, curry's pretty good. Eggs and toast. Mook, how many times have you eaten raw egg? Not like uncooked eggs, but just like completely like out of the shell, just like... Yeah. I also like the rooftop. Makes me want to fly, you too. It's the mole man. Never. Skill issue. Yeah, these guys suck. Bullets. I love those. Like these guys suck at the job. Is that everything? Hmm. Nah. I think you're the right some oh. dude. Welcome to Silent Hill. No! I hate hitting tab and it like goes to an emote before I push and then... <laughs> Fuck. There we go. That was, uh, that was World of Horror. This you. Oh, the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Some dude. I am Heather. Heather, I miss my wife. I miss her a lot. I wonder what Silent Hill would be like if it was scary. Uh, dog ending. What? <laughs> Sneezed into a tissue, threw it in the bin. There's someone else to deal with. 
What are you talking about? <laughs> Alright, cool. I can't wait for this to, like, insta-kill us. Huh? I don't get what this is referencing. And dragged. <laughs> Surely this will fix it. I haven't seen the rabbit yet in this. I thought that was a bit. Uh. Hey, did you did you beat any World of Horror? The box in Japanese? No. That's just like a fold. Huh. This is a hard puzzle. Can't squeeze in, can't move the shelf. Well, how the fuck am I supposed to get back in there? Look at the perks and the enemies. I mean, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm utterly fucking befuddled. Whoops. Oh, you like ghost is cute. Yeah, you gotta get that checked. <laughs> uh, uh, what the fuck's the, what's the bit? Huh? Yeah, you're on the... Archive of our .org. <laughs> The premier location for Harry Potter fanfics. And more Harry Potter fanfics. <laughs> uh. Alright, time to check like every room <laughs> real quick. Add a bunch of random mods? Clown Girl Mod. That sounds awesome. Was it, was it good? Ah, uh, no, nothing here but the door. Hmm. Damn it. I know there's the one with the the girl with huge knockers. <laughs> like it's just a regular character mod, but the uh, the the, <laughs> the characters get <laughs> huge badonkers. Hmm. Let's see. Ah. Uh... Hmm. Some doctor's room is supposed to have, like, the combination. I, I guess it's gotta be on the first floor, then? Based the cringe dish. That was said. It's... <laughs> Based. <laughs> Did you marry Moody yet? <laughs> uh, good morning, Sir Ryu. More insane than the Knockers mod. I know there's the something truly evil, but the 
but like in a bunny suit. Picture of a flower in a vase, but nice, but whatever. The flower pot. Huh. Oh yeah, wasn't that one of the notebooks here? That's a good bit. That <laughs> somebody, hey, I, I, it, Jimmy must have done it. Maybe, maybe it was a doodle request. I don't remember. <laughs> it's an inflation mod. What a horror! If it was scary. Inflation. Um, looking at the door. Looking at the save point. Yeah. The door doesn't work. Can you look at the computer. Well, shit. Even my noodles. Should be back here then. Stuff written. No, look, look for the fucking password. Heather! Shame. Doxed. Nothing of interest on the desk, god damn it. Medical records for Leonard. Room S12, presenting model mild audiovisual hallucination. Yeah. Uh, thank you for the raid R Steel Idol. That'd be chaos and all I got was just a lousy cog. Wizard with a gun. Oh yeah. Now, that was that. I saw chaos and I could only think of Final Fantasy. I'm going to kill chaos. Anticlimactic? Huh. That's a bit of a shame. Looks broken. What the fuck's the, uh... Huh. S12, SO7... <laughs> the password. That'd be stupid. Probably could be the password. What the fuck? Hmm. Damn it. Chronomancer congratulates you, gives you a cog, says put that in the machine, I'll talk about the future. Never talks about the future. <laughs> huh. A walk. I love getting stuck in Silent Hill. Wait, hold on. I mean, the elevator should work. I couldn't go to the basement before, but I probably can now just for no reason. No. <laughs> no, I can't. Use the money for the job to pay for licensing for the next one. Then you'll never have time for chubas ever again. Oh, you have to pay for licensing for a job. What the fuck? Rest in peace, Jimmy. Tough titty, said the kitty with the milk rain dry. <laughs> what? Oh, that would be fucked if the game just ends in a DLC teaser. Ah, oh, that's stupid. <laughs> My, 
You can't just ask someone if they like dating. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah, it's the locker room. Everything else is broken. Another combination. <laughs> the forklift certification probably costs like it's like what like twenty bucks, I think. Was this open before? Probably. Fashion magazine. Oh, good morning, Zaver VT. The acid reuse. Oh yeah. Harry Mason's fucking dead. <laughs> okay, Mega Mook is not lactated. Thirty to eighty k. What the fuck? Oh, that's Australian. Never mind. It's like five bucks. No. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell's going on? <laughs> what Dump truck certified. <laughs> For that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good morning, Gale Stratus. What this spruce? Never really found anything in here. 12 hours confinement. Do we have to just sit here for 12 hours? Don't leave any marks. Oh, wait, where are you left marks on this, uh, the nurse? At the pit? Probably not. Nothing else here. Ready, 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 and Rika. What the fuck? But yeah, sorry, Gale Stratus. Lomau. Ready if he was based on female Shrek. Huh. So true. Hmm. That explains a lot. <laughs> what the fuck is the bit? No. Oh, it's even even the gift sub red bottle. I didn't notice. I got distracted by female Shrek. <laughs> Face. Very cool. Use that power for evil. Uh, no. uh -oh. Keys behind the shelves in the underground garage. Yeah, but, like, why can't you, like, just grab it? Fucking Stanley Mole Man, piece of shit. This is not looking at anything. It's the save point. DMs don't know how to stack combat. Huh. I see. Maybe if we go from the third floor, for some reason the basement key will work. No fourth floor available. No. Huh? 
but yeah, no, I, I take the support rules because I'm on my phone. Get fucked. Oh, yeah, no, that's fucking bull. Fuck 5th edition. Paying 50 bucks for a fucking book that just leaves useful advice out of it. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm doing a little bit of a 5th edition right now. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there is an actual, like, challenge rating, like, calculation that they have. It's just they don't tell you. Why? Oh, funny. Oh, damn. The books are the, uh, the challenge rating. In the fucking book. You're right. <laughs> you should be working at Wizards of the Coast. Sorry, that sounds like an insult. There we go. There's one online. Okay. Yeah, because there's like an actual like thing that they use. Use itch.io games on the Pixel account. What do you mean by this? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> it's just, just wondering what uh, what specific thing you're thinking of. Is it the uh, is it the one where you're the the barista making coffee and like the Knockers get bigger? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I know Doc mentioned that one before. Oh, fuck. Sweeker game, but boo. <laughs> of course. Somehow I didn't think about that. I don't know if I'm ever going to be the Shrieker game guy. <laughs> Is there anything of interest here at all? Lock's broken. Ladder's just unavailable. Hokkaido game. What's the Hokkaido game? I am wall hugging. I'm fucking desperate at this point. But you have to pay money for the fucking Suica game? What? What's the Hokkaido game? Is Watsi still making money? I think it's a situation where they're making money, but just not enough money. You know? Because, yeah, investors want growth, and then, yeah. Wait, what? That's not a fucking browser game? What, what, what's Hokkaido? I mean, it's a region of Japan, yeah. You just cash flow from beloved old IPs for no bad projects. Makes sense. Oh, it's a board game. Hey. Unless, hold on. No, it's something else entirely. God damn it. It's like a game, but it's... I guess regions of Hokkaido? Or just regions of Japan, I can't tell. Hey, are you trying to build all of Hokkaido? Man. What games are neat? That's not a bad idea, Mook. She was drunk streaming. Oh. Nationwide News Network. I need to just type the whole thing out every time. They can't fail at anything. You're not wrong. 
Yeah, the fucking... They backed off really hard from that. What the fuck is the gimmick? Okay, yeah, so like I should go in the elevator. Uh, 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 it's a little creepy. What do you mean it's a little creepy? Do I have to shoot the fucking elevator? Is that it? Okay, that's sick. <laughs> Look who they've been shooting at. <sighs> Stun gun battery. Oh, I noticed that. Do I have to use the fucking perfume? No. I know equipping that's bad. Like the internal emails show they hate their own customers. I want to see them as ATMs. Also, they wanted to kill OpenGL. Yeah, they like ended up making like a ton of stuff. Creative Commons or whatever, didn't they? Okay, good. I would have been fucking pissed if that was the solution. What the fuck? Jamming the knife. He loves walking around with the knife. The fuck? They start from the back of the shelf. If you don't have any fucking... What do you mean? Why can't you fucking squeeze? Why can't you push it? Have you ever moved the fucking shelf? <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> uh, the personality, not a choice. I feel like I've interacted with everything. Like, in the hospital at this point. I guess we could, like, have the fucking... Guess the password? We're supposed to be in... That doctor's office. Yet, I haven't seen anything resembling a password. And the motherfucker said it has more than four letters, numbers. <laughs> it could look unstarving. Uh, get some curry if you can. Gygax vibes. Copious amounts of cocaine. Alright, uh... Don't need to know what makes people horny or masturbatory habits. Yeah, exactly. You mind Shuriwaki? Will I? Draw is filled with nonsense. It's empty. S12, S07? Is it like just 1207? Is that the bit? Good. Damn it. Checking. Hmm. 
but yeah, no, yeah. It was a day of Christmas. Let's see. Lock's broken. What does it say? Gonna beach in the sea. Huh? What? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do not announce to the Twitch chat that you have masturbated. Or that for the past several months you would have masturbated but have decided not to. That is also uh, a little out of touch. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, we got the key there. Noodles, no. Yeah, what, what what the fuck is the the, the gimmick? What the fuck? There's nothing in the uh, oh elevator control room. Sounds like a useful place to be. Fireplace ambience on the TV. Man, I'm pissed. Not about this, but uh, like last night. AKA like 1 p.m. I was like, I'll go to bed a little earlier today. And uh, <laughs> according to Pokemon Sleep, it took me like a fucking like two hours to actually fall asleep. So I ended up falling asleep later than I did the previous day, despite trying to go to bed early. It's a fucking. I'm losing it. You know, the fuck? Can't see just being awake if you move a bit. I mean, yeah. Like, if you're, if you're not, like, actually going asleep. Going asleep. I did get a shot, but yeah. My Pokemon box is full. It's like the is it like the first letter of one of these? A B. Oh. No. Mm. There's no zeros. Fuck. It's like the letter S. Well. Your mom. Fuck. Actual lowest hanging fruit. What the fuck are we missing? Oh yeah, now we got the difficulty on hard. Get 
Lock's broken. Lock's broken. Lock's broken. Hmm. Lock is closed. Nothing else interesting in the locker. Yeah, if this puzzle involves the text on the fucking wall, I'm gonna be pissed. Like, that you can't, like, actually examine. What? That poem does contain the answer to- No, hold on, hold on, he didn't fucking- I'm fucking- I'm fucking- No, 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 no. Hold on. Exact at the end. We're smoking dong beetles. Slowly fade into the darkness as I let the archangels take them. Uh huh? Is it like the puncture? No. Hmm. And they're not fucking like exploding. I'm pissed. Uh, so true. The poem is the puzzle you need to solve. Yeah, no, I'm not fucking doing this. I'm taking the L. Uh, I'm... In the interest of saving time. Or two... Also, what? Like, that's very obviously written by fucking Stephen Mole Man, too, right? <sighs> like, he, he said earlier, like, that someone else had the key. Maybe, like, that's the third floor one? What the fuck? Yeah. I will say that all the hard puzzles are, like, much harder.
left hand sorry yeah left hand on her face so we're talking about her right side ear, the right ear four so it's eye forehead eye ear nose ear why the fuck are the why the eyes above the ear like why would you have eyes and ears in the same thing and then like yeah, forehead, nose, mouth, that makes sense. Eye, ear, cheek, I get I guess I can look tilt it up. <sighs> yeah, the puzzle is alright. Tongue is in the mouth. Noink. Cheek could be seven or nine. Excuse me, do both work? Oh, you just have to fucking guess which of the two. Okay, eat shit. Eat fucking shit. Go to hell. <laughs> Fuck off. It's fucking awful. What poem? That you're just supposed to assume that this is like. Yeah. Yeah, these are all, like, nothing. You chose hard mode puzzles. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it's a very poor difficulty description. This is, like, extreme. <laughs> uh, yeah, like... I will say, they, they've been consistently, like, relatively extreme. And then, like, the Shakespeare one, there's, like, two separate leaps, leaps of logic. You have to assume that you have correctly placed the Shakespeare's. How did that go? Horribly. <laughs> and then, you have to assume, like, the last line, the last uh, paragraph or whatever is referring to, like, or mathematical calculations on the numbers involved. So the first two are like you multiply the numbers. And then the second one, or the third one, I mean, it's like you gotta take out the third book. <laughs> so good puzzle. Hmm. After solving it, you can go like, okay, that was. Yeah, I understand how it works. That sounds interesting, but approaching it? No? And this one? No? So was it the third floor? There was a notebook telling me that someone else left a memo about what it was, and it had more than four numbers. So I guess that's the third floor one. If, that, if it's not, I'm going to be pissed. Oh yeah, problem solving is more interesting, in my opinion. If <laughs> you can blow up a door. Good. <laughs> but yeah. Left hand. Thumb in the eye socket. Of course, at the top left. Oh, yeah, and none of the paragraphs are, like, <laughs> relevant. Yeah. And the having to guess? Like, oh, he doesn't say a, a direction for the cheeks. Surely you're meant to, you know. That just means you have to try either side where cheeks would be on a... Uh, Oh no, puzzle difficulty is a separate thing entirely. Not a fucking garden. I think 
I've got a fucking bulletproof vest. Hmm. Margaret, let's swear I love until death do us part. Nice foot, bro. Am I going to play Silent Hill 4? Not really. Yeah, uh, medical textbooks on the shelf. None of it looks useful for now. Uh, something's written on most important. Medical record here. It could be for the dead guy. Yeah, I'm going to look up like Silent Hill 2. Hard puzzles. <laughs> Downcoming. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, are these all the hard mode ones. Oh. Some have different ones for each hard mode uh, each mode. Oh, and there's extra as well. Yeah, the coin desk puzzle in Silent Hill 2 was a little tricky. Hmm. Oh, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I never understood what the box of faces puzzle was supposed to be. Like, that was just easy? Like, there was, like, nothing there? Oh, yeah, the innocent man puzzle was also really easy on hard. The music box thing, I mean... Yeah. Huh. Weird. Yeah, I guess there's a lot less going on in Silent Hill 2 for the difficulties. Huh. Background unknown, name age unknown, not admitted patient, found in poor mental state on hospital grounds and temporarily installed in room M4 at chief's discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss due to sev uh, severed cardioid artery, was grasping own kitchen knife in right hand, assumed this was cause of neck wound. Possible suicide, but wound angle suspicious, sent the second floor treatment room for further investigation. I received no proof or corroboration of event from patient residing in same room. Have not notified police. However, for future necessity, leave victim's bed and effects intact. M4. There's a corpse. And there's something written on it. No, investigate the hand. What? Oh, look at the fucking hand. Have a sh piece of shit. You can look at the foot, but not the hand. Whatever. <laughs> hmm. I think it was just those two nurses in here. If it doesn't work. Okay. <sighs> there was a tattooed guy on the rumpled bed. Not anymore, though. That alarm clock and filthy bag of his. Don't misunderstand. I haven't done a thing. I didn't hate him, but he was a liar. Shall I write something of my own? On my chest, since I can't cut it open to show you my heart. I love him, though. No, something a bit more forceful. I love Heather isn't enough for what I feel. What tender emotion this image brings. Stanley Mole Man. Cache case is locked. Yeah, 
Yeah, watch this. All right. I think I'm going all Bones Jones. I'm going to Stanley route. Uh, there we go. Yeah, military time. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still mad at the previous puzzle. All right. There we go. <laughs> Welcome. These are fucking hard riddles are stupid. Like that, that's like... Not the worst, that's pretty alright. <laughs> yeah, you have to assume that that entire riddle, that the entire poem is not just flavor text and is... Yeah, yeah I don't like the Shakespeare one. Not a huge fan of that. No, you don't have to have the alarm on still. As someone who is not confident. Even then, like, <laughs> the solutions, like, online are just like, hey, uh, you know what, this is a little vague. This one could mean, like, any of these Shakespeare books. It's like, okay, cool. <laughs> uh. But yeah. I live in a society. Oh, huh? probably just monsters. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised that one and two don't have as much. At the very least, one to the two doesn't have as much stuff like affected by riddle difficulty. There you go. The triple. Oh, no, I'm not almost dead. Come here. Woman destroyed. Three has garbage boss fights on hard. Good thing I set the, the combat difficulty to normal. Paralyzed man. Yeah, it was just monsters. They lost the source code. I mean, they lost a lot of the assets for the other games too, right? <laughs> yeah, good point, old man Diabetes. Which is also in the inferior HD versions. Where they got like Comic Sans fonts everywhere. I mean, that's just this game. I mean, we got a camera. What does it do for us? Uh, okay, that's just a check mark. <laughs> oh, like what about papyrus? It's spooky. Two hundred pistol rounds in fifteen minutes. Doesn't sound very interesting. <laughs> Doesn't sound fun. Let me guess, you have to use the camera to take a picture of the head two in the hand because she's too. Like, she just can't move it? Oh, god damn it. That's an instant camera, too. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, what? Why couldn't I look at it before? The start time is my key. I fucking tried to inspect the arm before. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> you, you, you beat the boss, and then you, uh... Okay. See, like, I assume that puzzle's the same on, like, normal difficulty. Except it is, like, just... 
nine whatever instead of going to military time the boss is easy but not good oh that's not good <laughs> Uh, uh, I guess we try going to the basement. Like a DMC2 boss where you just like walk and shoot. And there's nothing that the boss can do. Other than walk towards you. How do devs lose assets? Uh, pretty easily, apparently. Delete the files to make space, I guess. Or forget where you put the files. Okay, whoops. Just lose the disk. Discless behavior. Yeah, I got one request. Lose the disk. I might keep it around. Funny. Throw it in the trash for fun. Fucking rest in peace, StarCraft 2 source code. Yeah. Is this the bit? I'm just gonna like take a picture of like. Yeah? Why? The dead body behind there isn't there. Oh. Uh, 9763. What the f fuck? No, there was one of the fucking Stanley Mole Man things. It was talking about, like, a, a key code of something, like, having more than, more than four characters and written in someone's office? I, th I think, what the fuck? What do you mean? Sh shit. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I might be insane. That was like yesterday. Ah, oh, fucking hell. You're the Simpsons guy. Me too. That's who I'm imagining is writing all the diaries. <laughs> all right. Please tell me it's, uh, it's my inventory, right? Huh? Heather, where the fuck did the Polaroid picture go? Heather. Heather. <laughs> Heather. <laughs> Heather. <laughs> Oh, fuck you. It's written on the map then, isn't it? I think you have the right Silas was thrown. <laughs> I'm encountering Silent Hill 3. How's Wolfenstein? You find any wolves? Uh... If I have to reload a save file just to see the code again, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be ins- I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go insane. Ah, 
okay. There were numbers on the back of this. 9763, that's what it was. Thanks. How's Silent Hill going? Uh, it turns out the hard puzzles are, like, really bad. <laughs> uh... Yeah, the, the Silent Hill 1 and 2 were fine. Did Silent Hill 1 have a, a puzzle difficulty thing? I don't think so. 9762? That was like 9763. There we go. Uh, okay. No, a combination lock, not a soft lock. <laughs> Magazine. Teaching despair. Hope House. Hope House is an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill, but behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, a charity organization sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But its heart is a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of a good religious values. Mr. Smith, temp, who lives near Hope House, had this to say. Sometimes at night I hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Hope House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower which appears to be part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may in fact be a prison or a secret place of worship. Cult religion that operates Hope House is known by the locals simply as the Order. Talk my balls. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah, I know they're worse after three. Like four. I've heard that it was just an entirely different game. And then they added like the Silent Hill onto it later. And then everything after four is just like nonsense. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers' fervent belief that they are among the elite chosen people as a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the chosen the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schreiber. I feel like I've heard that name before. Cool. I, I can't wait for that to be a fucking combination for another <laughs> yeah downpour is real bad all right so now we got s4 that's got to be the fucking bit i'm already like no, okay no good be tricky good ideas awful horror It's your question. There we go. Woman destroyed. S12 is the one with the guy we're looking for. The other one has Stanley Mole Man. Right behind you. Hello? Claudia. Yo. I'm not... Don't lie to me, Claudia. You're always trying to run from your responsibilities. Hmm. Have you come to apologize? Or maybe you still don't realize how foolish you've been. Bad video games that can red bring up death your Xbox. 
What the fuck? A ridiculous dream. Wait, just listen to me for a second. I've heard enough from you already. Listen to me already. I'm not Claudia. You're not Claudia. Inventory slots, what items don't stack. Heaven. Sounds awful. Who are you? Leonard Wolf. Hmm. We live in a society. Claudia is your daughter? Oh, so you know her, do you? Are you one of her followers? No, never. Huh. I find her. I I'm... I can feel the hatred. What? <laughs> the gameplay is just bad. Video game, it's a character in a story. <laughs> like, actually explain something important. I love aquatic animals. The second half of Silent Hill 4 is the first half, but an escort quest. <laughs> Bad AI, invincible enemies. It sounds like a neat idea. Fucking hell. Fuck. We gotta be pretty low on health now. Yeah. Cool. What? Why oh, I love Silent Hill. There's no nurses in Silent Hill 4? I don't want to go in Stanley's room. <sighs> Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. It's all over. Linda despises me because I made fun of it saying it would come to this. If it weren't for his meddling, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while. Then I could have taken you to my world. World for us alone, more beautiful than this one. And I've been waiting for this day, for the day that I would see you, that you'd save me today. Heather, watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell, I loved you. Heather, my god, is Heather, my lord. Heather, my... Stephen Moleman. Giant woman that belts when they get hit. That's on you. <laughs> they had charm and three. Yeah. I like the bit in two where they that made them resemble the Harry Mason's like strangled wife. So true. Uh Uh, what you doing the second half affects your ending? The worst ending is the only interesting one. Fucking... Dogs with panthers and... Oh, that one? Wow. <laughs> it 
it's like the fucking like dome imp one or what? Surely this is a good idea. Is there a save me here? And we're fine. M. It's Bowser. That's <laughs> awesome. Really makes me feel like a rat in a maze. Wow, this is awesome. Yeah, that's what I thought. What well, is this gonna say a lot about society? Oh, yeah. That makes sense. I'm a little mad that my favorite bit from Silent Hill 1, the elevator suddenly getting a fourth floor, still hasn't come back. Hmm. It's too good. Silent Hill. Like Pyramid Head. Excuse me? Oh. Interesting. Is this reused dialogue? From Silent Hill 1? Was I daydreaming? It's more like watching a video in a dark room. That nurse, I know her. Lisa was so heavenly toward me in that hellish hospital room. She did get a little weird, though. Oh. The same audio, okay. That's like, that's okay. That's, that's good. You were using the entire hospital. Oh, that's a little silly. Still in a dream. Snake beater. Sometimes get to eat the dream frog. He's just vibing, okay. <laughs> that there's gonna be a bit there. Pixelated woman. That was Lisa? <laughs> yeah, let me just jump off and die. That's cool. Write that down for, uh... Stretcher. Being carried in. Yeah. Put that down for Friday. Apparently on hard difficulty, it doesn't warn you about the uh, the drops. That would have been really funny. She's being roasted. Oh. Now I need to check this out. I'd like to avoid touching this kind of thing if I can. Looks like there's a piece of meat or something on the ground. You're tearing me apart. That's a door. Fuck. Hmm. Uh -huh. Hmm. 
What a lovely camera. Very cool. Ball teal. What? Oh. The boss from Fear and Hunger. Oh. Uh. Dead, dead, yeah. Cool, there's another. That's John Crankman from the movie Crank. so long in the regular hospital. Obviously, basement four is three to start with. <laughs> I'm not gonna look forward to the puzzles here. There's a memo. The kite, hot, crazy, and panting mad. Sweet shackles to tease and excite. Death itself would drive him wild. Red blood that turns milky white. Fuck this shit. <laughs> the dove's hope died. He chose his path. His flapping wings fell still. Drenched in scarlet, here they lay. His cheeks pale, white, and chill. The owl who forgot the sky. Resigned to his poor earthbound state. Hungry or full, didn't matter at all. He ate and ate and he ate. Um, yeah. I love birds. The Silent Hill 1 bird puzzle wasn't that bad. Yeah, if it better explained what keys were actually used. Like if like those ones were like highlighted or something, or those ones had blood stains on them. Then it'd be like, oh yeah, that's a nice bit. That's all right. <laughs> you wouldn't have to like wonder if like, oh wait. Fuck, did I click the right one? That'd be like a super simple puzzle. Ah. Burn the one who knows no death, pure adored by those above. No prayers within, just simple love. Now the pining hunter, the flames longing for his rebirth, a distant breath within the earth. Burn up that heavy body of his, make it wind, dancing in the sky. Bottomless gut, now a cloud, now a sigh. Sweet blood on his laughing lips. Now calls him to the gates of hell, there burns evermore that soulless shell. Our bodies return to ashes, thus the doors opened. Hush, the doors opened. <laughs> you only have two hours to solve this. Oh, they got numbers. Cool. The Lark's child lost all his words and walled himself up all the way, heart and mouth both locked up tight in a cage where none want to stay. What did any of that mean? Fuck if I know. The Wren. With pure heart as yet unrefined, makes us laugh with his feeble lips smacking. But still we all know he shall never grow old, and he knows not how much he is lacking. Go away, bird. Named because he told the bird to go away. What the fuck? And your birds are horrible enemies. <laughs> Black Rook is prey is the praying sort who hears the guards in the skies. His whispered petitions go on without end, and glassy and dim are his eyes. So true. Who killed Cock Robin? <laughs> The sparrow, they said. He wants them all dead. To him, honey sweet, is their sobbing. Thank you, cock robin. The oh no, bird. It's one in spite of venom. The grass the thrush loved to eat gave his sweet happiness. He sank ever deeper and finally fell to destruction and fatal distress. He seeks out her soul by his own black ambition, frightening her out of her wits, whispering love songs into her ear what cruel limit wants he gets 
rough faced shag. Like Scoob! Like Scoob! Cock Robin, who hit the key away and ash in the oven, alright. The place he held is empty now, and the doors remain shut tight. Thank you, Cock Robin. I don't have any way to burn them. It's very bigger than its legs. Now, hold on. I like the birds in Dark uh, Bloodborne. <laughs> I was trying to remember which number it was in the middle of saying Dark Souls Bloodborne. Yeah, right, get the fucking gun. I think I'm going Cobalt Rats. You missed the, uh, the Ruby Quest reference. <laughs> this is bird poems. You. There we go. Tracks are a good bit. I like the Shrike guy from uh, Hunter Hunter. The, oh wait, no, it's a metal glad, not like metal ren. Fuck, I don't remember. <laughs> I, st I still can't believe that like all the characters are just fucking Animal Crossing characters. It just has a weird mask. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> uh, that's that guy, right? Dr. Midkiff. Please use extra caution with the patient in room 312. He should still have his religious freedom here in the hospital, but he shouldn't push his faith on others. I'm a victim too. Rumor has it he got here by stabbing someone over a religious dispute. Please be careful. Ah, oh, Crosby. P.S. It looks like the rumor is true according to the head nurse. I do think he's a good person. Otherwise, though, easy to deal with. Huh. I cooked the joke wrong. Dirty syringes. Real Crosby. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> what was in this medicine drink? Whoa. <laughs> I think the bit with the uh, special pudding sauce or whatever the fuck. That came out, like... When do you think that came out? Like, in the, uh, in the timeline? That was a bit on the Cosby Show. <laughs> there was a funny bit. I think this happened years before the, uh, the court case. Where they just slowed down the entire bit and, like, removed the laugh track. And just put, like, ominous music in the background. What he's talking about. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, what if... Hmm. It's just my work. Woman spotted. There we go. Nice. Uh, oh God. <laughs> How big is the hospital? All right, what's the monster here? Oh. What rich. What the fuck? The world is teeming with unnecessary people. 
It's God's decision that I fight. As a knight of honor, as a protector of the seal, I sacrifice myself to the blood of criminals. Who wrote this? Some twisted individual, eh? See this and I want to ask him. I think you're one of the necessary ones. Seems like I've heard this protector of the seal business somewhere before. What a nerd. The real monster is man. I don't know, I liked it in Silent Hill 1 when the monsters were all... The, uh... They were all just nightmare monsters. That was awesome. I hope that the Halloween emotes get removed before your subs expire. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, so you can have the normal ones? What a kind thing to say. Oh, no, yeah, not that way. That's death. Hey, wait up, wait up. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a sucker for, like, nightmare monsters. Because <laughs> she's a cyclops, like the X-Man. Yippee! You had the normal ones for a while, didn't you? What the fuck is that? Oh, that's like a... The eyes open. It looked like a fucking, like, like a lock on the emote. Uh, oh wait, no, hold on. <laughs> Wrong fucking way. Yeah, back to the elevator. But yeah, like, personalized monsters that let you get, like, some insight into the character that they're, like, from. That's good. Like, oh wow, Alessa Gillespie read a funny book about a giant lizard. So now there's a giant lizard monster. <laughs> Mexicans sit down. He lacks critical information. Wait, what? On Silent Hill 1? No. It was all a dream? Harry Mason used to read Wood of Magazine? Certain scares that only happen if you examine certain objects. Oh, I've been like examining almost everything I can. Hello? Okay. I didn't get pushed. Huh. Oh yeah, because Heather's like... Art Alessa Gillespie? Let me give you the gift sub RCL Ardor. Based? Huh. Third birthday. Happy birthday, dear. I forgot your name. Who are you? Oh, okay, thanks. Happy birthday, dear. Who are you? Happy birthday. To this guy's awesome. Happy thirty first birthday. Is this Leonard? I'm not your beloved Stanley either. He's underground now. His new name is <laughs> I'm not gonna play third birthday. <laughs> what, what game was it? Was it that wasn't the Parasite Eve series, was it? celebrate your birthday. You've got me. It was uh <sighs> Thirty-one twenty-four. Which do you 
you prefer? To give pain or to receive it? I love giving pain. Okay. Well, if thirty-one twenty-four is gonna be a code to something. Huh. Maybe there's someone there. Fuck. Well, I missed that. A shoot downwards, please. Oh, fuck. I've probably taken more damage than I've received. Fuck. <laughs> As you can tell. Oh, God. I mean, then I've dealt. Ah. Fucking. I guess I missed whatever that was. But yeah, not that. What? Well, what was wrong with third birthday? Uh, there's a... There's like a fucking laundry list, right? I need to check the men's locker room. That was a bit mutt. You were too stubborn. Hmm. literally me. Oh. Something strange is cooped up in the locker. I think I'm safe, but I shouldn't get too close. I just, like, kill him with the plastic bag. Put it over his head. Full of perfume. Your arms are inly from late working. <laughs> yeah, so true. I didn't check the whole third floor. We went to the elevator and then cheesed it. Good morning, Broly1987. Brain is gone. So true. Uh, I want that to be like a stupid trend where like instead of stacking paper, people are talking about carrying gold bars to the bank. <laughs> Uh, how I be in my vault. And it's just like fucking Monopoly Man with like a bag of gold. Or like a, like a prospector. Like Heather. I'll stay on low health. Yeah. I don't know if blocking really does anything. 
Uh, I think that's a block. Meta is to ignore people. I mean, kinda, that makes sense. A little too awkward saying hi back and worried about clogging up chats. I was just like, eh, sure. I just don't show up in other people's chats anymore, so that's so. What if I stay here, like the room like gets covered in blood and I die? It'd be awesome. That's a cool effect. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Ooh. So have they just really afraid of water coming out of drains? <laughs> huh. A sign to tap when people get too friendly with the greetings. Not really. Whoa, that's sick. That's a good bit. Does anything else happen? Okay, you do die for standing in here too long. Come on. <laughs> Come on. You know, they actually run to the room twice for that. I don't think I'll come up with a funnier bit than looking at, like, the, the mirrors in Dusk, which are just, like, flat surfaces that don't reflect anything and be like, oh, they hit the right of the room twice for that. <laughs> walk back to that room, walk up to the mirror, and leave. Surely that's a good idea. Nice. Uh, cool. <laughs> How much progress was that? Hmm. I liked filling up the entire map with the. I still use a katana more. I still can't believe you get like a fucking katana. Instead of, like, anything reasonable. What do you mean? <laughs> Funny. Comically oversized morning stuff. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of, like... Real weapons and tools. Like a Sephiroth katana. Okay, that'd be sick. Harry Mason knows Kenjutsu. That makes sense. I guess that was a thing in the... Uh, in like the extra... Playthroughs. Mastered the art of the blade, the silent hell, like all of the the funny endings are canon too. With like the the UFOs and the dogs. Come and get me, stupid idiot zombies. So true. Uh, yeah, I guess. Fuck. Oh. 
Oh, all the alien endings are canon <laughs> to each other. Beef jerky. He's noshing. Ah, oh, no, yeah, he's back there. Oh, he ate it all. God damn it. Zero days since beef turkey. Wonk. Huh? Wonk. Huh? What the hell? Oh, is it just instant death for going in this room? No. It'd be awful. I don't have that plastic bag that we had earlier. <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> Is it really the bit? Plastic bag. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, okay. You can go after your your shadow gets trapped. Okay. playing video games, if you can't tell. <laughs> Fucking guy. Cool. Awesome. All right. Come on, boss Roddy. How you handy this gun? Oh, wait, that's that room, really? It's knock you over and do nothing. Yeah, those guys suck. Dead body hanging from the ceiling, the blood dripping from his totally filled bucket set up below. Who would do this and what? Take a full out bloodletting. Now I get the fucking bag. Wrong door. Cool. Uh. I kind of want to save <laughs> again. All I need is a plastic bag on my. Yeah, let me try that real quick. <laughs> uh, kids at home, this shit's awesome. Do it now. Uh, 
Over uh... Wait, no, wait. I went to the second floor, never mind. Ah, we'll get that, then we'll save. I guess. Oh yeah, I have to listen to this shit again. Nice. I assume that's important. Yeah, wouldn't that be funny if, like, listening to that just made, like, an instant death trigger for, like, later? So, like, we go through, like, a certain hallway and then just, like, some guy just, like, goes, ooh, and, like, scares you and then you just die? Wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> Shouldn't get too close. The more pitiful it seems, like a child locked up in there with no chance of escape. Wow. There's a lot about our society. Drinking lead paint gives you superpowers. I'm a staring at the sun purist. Whatever was here before is gone. I didn't even see anything in there before. God damn it, Heather. Cool. I hate when the lock on breaks. Like the one time where I like want the lock on to work. It doesn't ah oh, fuck. You know? This is more fun than pressing the button to look at an enemy and then, like, the character stops looking at the enemy. Ah, uh. oh, it seems pretty moist. Fucking... I love video games. Oh, that was just gone. Cool. Hey, damn it. Yeah, now I want a monster energy drink. <laughs> I think it sounds awesome right about now. Oh, there's New England. Huh. The movie was interesting for basing it on that uh, the, the town with like the coal mines that were like constantly on fire. Like that's an interesting bit. Pacific Punch Bimbo Monster Energy. <laughs> I just want a good old can of the sugar free stuff. <laughs> I'm beginning to wonder if the sugar free chemicals are really worse than sugar. Honestly, they're probably not. Like, you're probably better off with neither, but like... God damn. Alright, let's just... wait. God damn it. Nah, a little bit further around the corner. Okay. We'll learn in the future. I mean, microplastics. Eh. Yeah. Yeah, isn't, like, vegetable oil and everything like that really bad for you? Uh... 
Because they like sugar free sweet that causes cancer. But it's clickbait. <laughs> anyway. Like just in in general. The breathing in rushed. It can be worse if you drink 8 to 10 cans a day. I don't think that's worse than sugar. I think you... Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, that's not how it... Yeah, yeah, no, you're just dying of diabetes if you're drinking, like, 300 grams of sugar. Oh yeah, and the synthetic sugars are really bad. Well, not like... They're just like worse, I guess. Uh... Yeah, like the idea of like... <laughs> almost every oil used for cooking being bad is kind of fucked up. A bag with blood. Awesome. A bowl of sugar. Hey, don't don't forget to put a little bit of vegetable oil oil in there. Good for you. Oh, this is this hallway. Weird. That's the Lisa room. Yeah, olive oil is good for you, right? Like, it's not as bad. It's just vegetables, so it's gotta be good for you. Nah, it's completely blocked off. Okay, we didn't check all of these, I guess. Oh? Oh, there was a save here. Hello? Nothing? Don't drink soda. Yeah, that soda's not good. <laughs> Imagine putting vegetable oil in soda. <laughs> Putting carcinogens in food to preserve shelf life is bad for people. Yeah. Honestly, I don't see it coming. Uh, but honestly, yeah, like, fucking vegetable oil is the one that's like, really? Well, I've seen that one coming. Oh, what's that bit over there? Hold on. I'm gonna be honest, yeah, it's got vegetable in the name. What do you mean it's bad for you? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's fucking, like, red dye number six people are going off of, on, like... Like, that's just lethal. It just kills you instantly as soon as you look at it. You just fucking die. Oh, it's a gasoline processing side effect. That's awesome. Ah, right. Can we actually solve the bird puzzle? Wait, what? Hmm. Blood room. Uh, to the left. I mean, you can, like, cook stuff yourself now, yeah? <laughs> Just like... Yeah. You just buy, like... Oh, I mean, actually, never mind. <laughs> Buying meat at the store is bad. Oh, do they... Do they still put food dye in the, uh, in the meat? The raw ingredients, it's all corn. Oh, it's fucked up. They lied to you. Getting paranoid about what you consume? I mean, yeah. You're not wrong. But eh. Yeah, I mean, we... Of course the meat died. It's just gotta... You're gonna eat living pork? <laughs> it's stupid. Ah, uh, okay. So combination food. Okay. A621. <laughs> uh, 
actually a lot of the symptoms of lycanthropy you know werewolf it's like uh it's like from msg overdose there's lots of stories documenting the link between like you know extra you know hair and the uh, violent tendencies just look up e621 <laughs> werewolf <laughs> more info <laughs> Uh, uh. <laughs> no, you can't. It was a lie. Uh, actually, yeah. Look up Werewolf E six to one transformation for more info. Let's see. Well, no, 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 death. Pure. No prayers. Love. Yeah, no, it's, that's that's where it comes from. Yeah, it's the it's the code for MSG. Yeah, that's <laughs> that is the bit. Pining hunter. It's gotta be like the owl or something. I don't know. Hunter, hunter. That's from dictionary. dot com. Oh, yeah. I just want the guys on dictionary.com to look at E621, like, it's just funny. Flame, rebirth, uh... Distant breath within the earth, what the fuck? Earth. Why did the furries claim that name? It's funny. <laughs> Burn up that heavy body of his. Make it wind dancing on the sky. The bottomless gut now a cloud. Now a sigh. Uh, three letters, one digit with cheap to buy. I see. That makes sense. Am I in Xenocat Zero? It's supposed to be capital T tasty, I see. Dang, that one's supposed to be the owl. Wind... Oh, bottomless gut. Uh, that's familiar. One of them was talking about eating constantly. Sweet blood on his laughing lips now calls him to the gates of hell. Their bones evermore. That soulless shell. Cool. Uh, capital H E double hockey sticks. Solar shell. Four bodies. That was opened. Cool. Now I'm educated. I'm just thinking about Goku saying, now I'm racist. Guys, I'm no longer racist. Just kidding. Oh, I'm super racist. <laughs> uh, forgot this guy resigned to his poor earthbound state. Hungry. Earthbound. Hungry for eight and eight and eight and eight. 
Yeah, heavy body. The bottom was gut. It's gotta be John Owl. Nintendo? Papado? <laughs> Doves hope to die. He chose his path. Wings, uh, Scarlet, pale, light, and still. Eh. He's pretty fucking dead. It's gotta be like none of them, I guess. Hmm. The kite hot, crazy panting man, shackles, and death. Driving wild, red blood turns milky white. Eh. Probably not one of them. Cool. The Wren. Your heart. Feeble lip smacking. Never grow old. Okay, cool. No death, that's probably this guy. Hey, you literally me. Why are you turning the blood white? What did you mean by this? <laughs> uh, the large child lost all his words and walled himself up all the way. Heart and mouth both locked up tight in a cage. Where none want to stay. Hmm. That's probably none of them. <laughs> Cock Robin. <laughs> uh. Ash in the oven now. Maybe it's that one? One about flames and rebirth? Keep that in mind. Yeah, I'm Cock Robin, yeah. Black Rock is the praying sort who hears the gods in the skies. Whispered petitions go on without end, and glassy and dim are his eyes. Ah. Does that really fit anything? He seeks out her soul by his own black ambition, frightening her out of her wits, whispering love songs into her ear. What cruel when it wants he gets. Eh, you know what, Costello? Did you play, uh, you didn't play on hard puzzles, did you? <laughs> uh... Maybe that one's that one? There's some dumb bullshit in some of these. <laughs> this puzzle's fine so far. The grass the thrush loved to eat gave him sweet happiness. He sank ever deeper and finally fell to destruction and fatal distress. You played on hard everything. <laughs> if you hard, you hard. Who killed Cock Robin? The sparrow, they said. He wants them all dead. To him, honey sweet is their sobbing. Well, I, 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 I know, like, two of them. Hopefully we don't get, like, insta-killed if we get it wrong. Listen, I never would have found out about the fucking... Yeah, this should be nine. Cry about it. This should be two. This might be three. Might be four. Nothing like a little brute force and... Do you have to like keep it on a number for a sec? Damn it. 
Damn it. No. Okay, hold on. What was the bit? Even my mobs are crumbled. The pause is crushing me. Burn the one who knows no death. Fear adored by those above. No prayers within, just simple love. That's gotta be number nine. Now the pining hunter. Flames longing for his rebirth. A distant breath within the earth. Burn up that heavy body of his. Make it wind. Dancing in the sky. The bottomless gut. Now a cloud. Now a sigh. And sweet blood on his laughing lips. Now calls him to the gates of hell. There borns evermore that soulless shell. All bodies return to ashes, thus the door is opened. So fucking true. Yeah, maybe we just have to exit. Fucking hell. They're clicking the wrong one. Nine, three, two, seven. Or zero. Is there something under there? No. Got blood. Man, what does the perfume do again? Uh, blood. Damn it. It's kind of hoping that would do something there. I don't have anything to burn the bodies with. Let's see, Owl, Forgot the Sky, Earthbound State, Hungry, Eight. That's... Was that number two? That's definitely the one where he's talking about the guy with the bottom was gut. Heavy, yeah, all that stuff. That, that, there's no way that's not two. Don't tell me the order is like completely... Maybe it's like... Hold on. You know what would be funny? What if it's just like, you gotta do it in the reverse order? What if you have to like, double all of the numbers? <laughs> because it's like, going to hell, so it's like, upside down. It's gotta be a 2, it's gotta be a 9. It's like, 3 maybe? 4? I don't think that's it. Cool. What other aspect is there to this puzzle that I'm missing? <sighs> the dogs hope tied, he chose his path. Flapping wings fell still, drenched in scarlet where they lay, his cheeks pale, white, and chill. Uh, nothing about hell, nothing soulless. Nothing about knowing no death, no, nothing about being pure, nothing about prayers. Nothing about pining laughter, nothing about flame rebirth. Nothing about distant breath or earth. Ah, what if it's got like the same one on like, like twice for like two of the poems, wouldn't that be fucked up? <laughs> the kite, hot, crazy, panting mad, sweet shackles that tease and excite. Death itself would drive him wild. Red blood turns milky white. <laughs> Night Ursula, our door is sleep tight. Don't the pit big big. Don't let the birds swoop into your room and bite you. I'll be fucked up. <laughs> hmm. One zero. Consider that for the last one. Pining Hunter, Flame Rebirth, Distant Breath, Earth, I... I had one that was described pretty succinctly as a Pining Hunter. The Wren, Lip Smacking, Never Grow Old, 
not know how much he's lacking. I don't know if the feeble lip smacking is supposed to mean in this case. But I think that's pretty succinctly one who knows no death, uh, pure, no prayers inside or whatever, and yeah, whatever. That one's number two in it. Number nine. Yeah, that was the first line. What kind of lame hunter hunts only pine trees? A uh, lumberjack. Deluxe child lost all his words and walled himself up all the way. Heart and mouth both locked up tight in a cage where none want to stay. Hmm. Maybe that's the soulless shell. Five. Hmm. This guy's gone. Cock Robin, who had the key away and ash in the oven. All right. Place he held is empty now. The doors remain shut tight. Very tried four there, I think. Black Rook is the praying sort. Who fears the gods in the skies? His whispered petitions go on without end, and glassy and dim are his eyes. I think I already tried that. Number eight. <laughs> yeah, the last one seems pretty up in the air. Don't be fucked up if pine trees just moved. Yeah, six hours old by his own black ambition, frightening her out of her wits, whispering love songs in her ear, cruel and at once he gets seven. I guess that's the pining hunter. The thrush so loved to eat. Sweet happiness. Think of a deeper Destruction, fatal distress. Number three, you're right there. Hmm. Who killed Cock Robin, the sparrow? Wants them all dead. Only sweet is their sobbing. Number four? Number one? Nine, seven, two, one? That seems like it would be correct. No. God damn it, fuck. Feels like I'm missing something. Like I've got to, like, light them on fire. I feel like if I, if I look up the solution, it's just going to tell me, like, oh, yeah, you know what? Uh, you're supposed to multiply the numbers, because each stanza could describe two of the birds. So, for each one, you have to, like, add them together. <laughs> but, wait, yeah, let's try 9, 7, and we'll cycle on the bottom one. Seems pretty straightforward, but... Oh, come on, fuck it now. It's a list of four birds. Yeah. Apparently not. Huh. Hmm. 
don't have any way of like burning them. Oh yeah, this isn't on the map. Cool. Then we got the blood. I'm in a crematorium. Yeah, I assumed it like just going there. Would... The furnace is locked. Hmm. John Kite is zero. I mean, like, you'd assume that you'd be able to... <laughs> I don't... I assume the developers of this game don't. Okay, damn it. I assume there's like, where's all the milk? It ain't here. I assume there's like anti brute forcing. Like if you just spam the number, it'll like, it'll lock you out of actually getting the solution for a little bit. There is no anti brute forcing. Oh, and he's dead stuck. Okay, like skipped over one. Two. A good bit of the nine was wrong. Sure. The only one talking about knowing no death. Yeah, yeah no, no, nothing inside. Like, that's the one that's like, okay, yeah, that one's pretty fucking obvious. Yeah, let's brute force this shit then. I'm pretty confident in the two. And the nine. But obviously one of those is wrong. Or... There was some other step to the whole bit. Hmm. Like, is there a different order that we're supposed to do them in? Ah, right. Fuck it. Beating this puzzle. Oops. Three. I am all of me disco version is stuck in your head. Uh, uh, Checking. All right. Come on, that. Uh, oh. Hey. I'm going to stumble on the solution, and I'm going to be mad. Oh, come on. Seven. Damn it. Sneeze. Yeah. 
Just saying that. I think it'd be faster to solve the puzzle. No fucking way. Damn it. I hold in my heart of heart that this is correct. This is the answer to the solution to the puzzle. All right. That sneezing cat is just. <laughs> it's a good polar bear. Find the one who knows no best. Pure, adored by those above. No prayers within, just simple love. Why, that would be number nine. Now the piney hunter, the flames longing for his rebirth. Distant breath within the earth. Be number seven is a pining hunter. And then flames, whatever. Burn up that heavy body of his. Make it wind dancing through the sky. The bottom was gut. Now a cloud. Now a sigh. Well, we've got one who's a uh, you know, heavy body. The, the, the owl eating constantly. Bottom was gut. And then the sweet blood on his laughing lips now calls him to the gates of hell. It burns evermore. That's soulless shell. Now that one's a little iffy. <laughs> now if, like, yeah, burn is in the first line. Flames are in the second line. Burn is the first line. Burn is in the third line. Is that is that is that it? Is that the bit? <laughs> is this the one? Okay, let's try three instead of two. Oh, are you saying the lock's backwards? Like the other side, so we have to do one. <laughs> Alright, so what's on the opposite side? Four? Ten, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And... No. No, that'd be stupid. Oh, do you just have to click on the fucking lock? Huh? What? <laughs> no, I will look it up right now. I did not mix up the poem order. One who knows no death. Pining hunter. Heavy body, bottomless gut. Sweet blood on his laughing lips. There we go. Nine, one who knows no death. Watch, I can check him. Piney Hunter, seven. It's this guy. Seeks out her soul by his own black ambition, frightening her out of her wits, whispering love songs to her ear. What cruel Linnet wants, he gets. Yeah. That's a pining hunter. Now, okay, listen, if I... How does this... Pining hunter... What? Alright, I'm gonna need an explanation. 
Chestnut Ale, three. Creamporium. Crematorium puzzle. Okay. Yep. First four verses. Yeah. The sparrow, the owl, the thrush, cock robin. Uh, the, okay, hold on. Yeah. Wait, what? Huh? The owl, two. Yeah. That's a two. No, 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 no. I was reading that in order. <laughs> uh, yeah? Hold on. Burn the one who knows no death. Cheer adorned by those above. Now the pining hunter. Flames along in for his rebirth. The heavy body, bottomless gut. Sweet blood, and laughing lips. Yes. First verse, Song of the Red. Second verse, Song of the Owl. Huh? The owl is depicted as a hunter who is no longer able to fly. Forget this guy. He resigned his poor earthbound state. Hungry. 888. Eight. What? Tiny hunter, flames longing for his rebirth, distant death within the earth. This is the distant breath within the earth. Are you fucking kidding me? What? Eat shit. What? I did not mix up the poem order. The poems are shit. The third verse is arguably the most difficult. There's no direct clue to which bird it refers to. It turns out the verse is based on the song of the Lynette, which is attached to Stanley's body. As the mysterious voice in the locker phone said Stanley's number seven. Yeah, I understand that shit. Wow, that would be a great description for a pining hunter, wouldn't you think? <laughs> Stanley's diaries are clues in relation to the third verse. Is his bottomless gut refers to his bottomless hunger for love. Not the bird, the owl, which is referred to as eating endlessly. Are you fucking kidding me? The one with the bottomless gut. Are you fucking serious? Heavy body of his make it wind dancing in the sky. Wow, the heavy body, the bo you know, the one, the bird that doesn't fly. <laughs> See the sky, which versus wish to fly from the hospital's rooftop, which is impossible being him when his body's too heavy. I, I, I can tell you, yeah, sure. I'm gonna dance just as well in relation to the bird itself. The Lynette is known to eat three times its weight in seeds, sometimes to the point of being unable to fly. Stanley sighs, has his name as she approaches his body. This is the third number, is seven. Fourth, yeah, blood laughing on his lips. Called the gates of hell, burns evermore. Sparrow, who's the original murderer in the poem, and wants everybody dead. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I, I guess. Now, fuck you. <laughs> I'm going to go with the devs are wrong. Nothing in here apart from a few stray ashes. I was just better than the developers at this poem. <laughs> Stretch Armstrong of the imagination. Now are you telling me a heavy bird that can't uh, can't fly? With a bottomless gut is not the bird who forgot the sky resigned to his earthbound state hungry or full didn't matter at all he ate and ate and he ate are you telling me are you telling me that's not the fuck <laughs> uh it's not a hard puzzle that's just incorrect <laughs> Uh, a surprise if I re-enter the crematorium. It, I get like instantly killed.
This is the floor I'm looking for too. Uh, around this corner. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was... <laughs> like, okay, yeah, I, can, I can understand some of the bits, like, with the, yeah, it's, it's Shakespeare, like, yeah, I guess. You can get that right. You know, maybe that 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 other poem is right next to the door. I guess that is the combination. Sure. I'll try to interpret that. That one that, that one's just wrong. <laughs> uh it's like a three year old telling you like which which brown and sticky and you say a stick and he's like uh no it's uh and then he just points at you. <laughs> like, no, kid, you're wrong. Is there an extra puzzle mode for this? I know there was on Silent Hill 2. You can make the puzzles even more stupid. Fishing is nature's gotcha. Listen, unless you're crazy, the fish aren't anime girls. Now the corpses do silly things. Apparently, corpse number seven sighs at you. That's how you're supposed to figure out the part about it. Sign. Where's the fucking, like, give me, like, the Japanese version of this. I want, like, direct translation of this shit. What does SilentHillMemories.net have to say about this puzzle? Did the fandom wiki copy it? Uh. Oh. Hold on. Yeah, number nine. Let's see, verse B. Tiny hunter. Bird must be a hunter. Is on the decline. Who's, who fits owl, thrush, dove? Owl stands out as a bird of prey that hunts other birds and even fish when the others feed on insects and worms. Al, who forgot the sky, resigned to his poor earthbound state, certainly fits as a pining hunter. Distant breath, yeah, he ate until he became too heavy to fly. A middle line about flames and rebirth. A phoenix, no birds. Perfectly suits the owl. Not the, not the hunter who was pining for someone else. That's fucking stupid. Uh... Okay, yeah. Cool. Just had to double check. Uh, was it this room? I wonder where the key uh, probably actually says on it. It doesn't say. Uh, no, this is the... No, okay. What is this? Oh, the, the fishing gotcha. Yeah, based. <laughs> uh... Okay, so... The day room. First floor. Got it. Nice. Dude, I'm still mad. <laughs> Puzzle sucked. This just makes me want to like replay Outer Wilds and like Tonic. 
tunic only had one riddle in it, okay? <laughs> Fucking... Man. Tunic's a good game. Yeah, the whole game. What? Hey, wait a minute. All right, come here. Three hit combo was so bad. Wow, I love nurses now. I'm so glad to be back to combat. <laughs> Happy birthday. Uh, no more bullets for the shotgun. Fucking... Whatever. Alright, come here, you son of a bitch. Oh, that guy wasn't dead either. Cool. Fucking... Oh, damn it. <laughs> uh, can't wait for my birthday present. There's more. There's more. Yeah, I'm beginning to feel it. Hmm, beef jerky. That didn't work. This is awesome. I'm now a Silent Hills 3 hater. Uh, remember when I was like, oh man, it's awesome. I'm back to combat. I'll take one more hit. First birthday. Yippee! The gun's doing ninety-five percent. That's a good bit. Ah, it's a nice birthday present. Oh, cool. There was dialogue that showed up once. Oh, fucking hell. Fuck you. Fuck you. This game sucks. <laughs> Come on. Don't fucking don't do that. Don't do it to me. There's something on the ground. This is a birthday card. Happy 38th birthday. 14 plus 7 plus 17 is 38. But it's not my birthday. Alyssa Gillespie. Because, yeah. Alyssa is 14 and then it fucking exploded and then... Daryl Mason. It was, uh... Like, 4 and then exploded. And then... Eat your fucking Fruit Loops off the ground. Oh, fuck you. Uh, the door doesn't work. But it probably does, doesn't it? Fucking hell. <laughs> Fucking hell. Ah. Shit. Ah. You. 
Fuck you. I think they made it bad on purpose three times in a row. Yeah. At least this time, yeah. Fuck you. Eat shit. Yeah, one is fine. This is this is like the Dark Souls 2 of Silent Hill games. In that uh it it's not really like made for fighting multiple enemies. But uh, you're fighting multiple enemies anyways, because they, they think that makes it cool. Yeah, Silent Hill 1 is like, uh, yeah, you can just do it. Whatever you say. <laughs> uh. They give you a katana and then say that uh, you're not supposed to uh, fight enemies. Was this a game for babies? Was this fucking Undertale? <laughs> uh, Undertale didn't have... Undertale had a music puzzle. It's the worst that it ever got. Lost memories. One characteristic mentioned only in rare documents and dying out in the modern age is that the ritual sacrifice. Offering prayers, pierce a man's chest with a copper stick, drench the altar in the blood of which spouts red from the heart, the praise and to show loyalty unto God. Another sacrificial rite mentioned in the same book, the victim is burned alive. This is a more dignified ceremony in which prisoners and sinners were not allowed to participate. Only the clergy could be sacrificed. Like blunder failed. <laughs> like nut dealer. Similar to burning at the stake, no comparable rite can be found in religions practiced nearby. They have some connection with the main deity being a sun god. Even though this religion extols redemption, brings to mind a dark and cultish history. I love burning alive. This is usual stretcher, this is more like an altar of some sort, lit candles and knife, and is that blood I smell? Do they worship that picture? Something in the picture. Wow, I'm gonna use my blood. It's gonna be the last one. See, the blood is gonna fall, and then we're gonna have to, like, look at where the blood drips, and we're gonna have to, like, find, like, what piano keys those are, and we're gonna have to transcribe that, and, like, you know, just, like, <laughs> imagine the song in our head, and then we're gonna have to go, like, dun 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 And then, yeah. Uh, no. Well, that wasn't there before. It's a good bit. He's <laughs> young Sheldon. Oh, did I stick a mine early, Hirodola? You missed out on my favorite puzzle in Silent Hill 3. In which I firmly believe that the devs are wrong. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Hello. Heather. Oh, I guess the dialogue, right? I need to respect women now. The difficulty setting. Now I can finally leave here. Now Claudia's ridiculous dream is over. Uh -huh. I guess it's time to dispose of her. The salvation of all mankind. <sighs> Why must we reward? But yeah, it was a stupid like selection of riddles. Don't you think so, Heather? Yeah, sure. 
Yes, you. Oh. I don't want any part of that kind of paradise. You're an unbeliever. <sighs> you deceived me. I didn't deceive you. We were both just wrong about each other. This with the protagonist of the horror game, Jimmy John guns down the Eldritch Horror? That was Silent Hill 1. This bit in a song that the voice is very low. I was appointed by God to be its guardian. The only thing you will get from me is a gruesome. Huh. I'd say good morning, Michael Hump, right? Points at screen. Well, I guess you're not a person anyway. <laughs> Can you just say that? Jesus fucking Christ, Heather. Hey, what's memos? Huh. Oh, that's nice. I didn't know about this. Oh, fucking hell. Hold on. Let's see. No, no, I'm, 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 I'm not insane. Here, where is it? Let's see. Who's this motherfucker? Tattoo guy in the bed, alarm clock, this one, is it this one? Let's see, doors locked, open it, use the password for the prison gates. Doctor, I forgot his name, Quack has it posted. Should be here too, I mean four numbers would have been good enough, but he kept on going. What do you mean? There is no puzzle with multi- the, the, the keypad- no, there's no- no. Oh, the- oh. Oh, you're fucking- <sighs> Are you saying that, like, I was supposed to read this as, like, not four numbers, and it has more than four numbers, but he's got- <laughs> the, the four numbers are hidden in the long- he, he went insane and wrote that whole fucking like oh yeah like the kind of thing that like fucking Stanley would say oh I'm fucking I'm losing it ah well, I hope he doesn't have 200 pistol shots with the HP in normal mode oh is this that bad Wayne turret 49. I have opinions on the Silent Hill 3 puzzles. His opinions are very negative. <laughs> Where the fuck is he? Oh, I, I, I see him. Is this supposed to be a fucking boss fight? Magic questions to contain itself. So, like, fucking Sensei's Divining Top. So, like, <laughs> it's called the Miracles Bracket. Because. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Does he, like, attack? It did, like. No. Standing in front of him gets you hit.
Cool. How many handgun bullets do we have? So we may as well use the shotgun. Let's use the handgun. Shotgun's better for like regular enemies. Yeah, this kind of sucks. This really sucks. No, lock on to. game is left after this. Too much? Time to beat said six hours. Doctor said three months. The clock says one minute. When Fontaine is dead. I hate Silent Hill 3. Yeah. Oh, the giant, yeah, the giant grinder is just funny. Not like you're getting pushed towards it in the water. This isn't the final boss, is it? <laughs> you might be able to walk into the grinder. That sounds stupid. <laughs> so I don't know, one into a good, yeah. Why didn't you lock on? <sighs> the lock on is very frustrating. I'm just gonna pretend that he wrote all those funny puzzles. He loves Shakespeare. I'm still mad about that stupid bird puzzle. Is it the end of the hospital? Cool. It's ten times the health. I mean, I guess you could like smack him in the back. Nine hours of Silent Hill. Gonna find a save and then we'll be good. <sighs> should head back to the motel now. I hope Douglas is okay. Cool. The balloon. Yar. <laughs> A pirate's talisman. It's the latest temperatures. Odd design inscribed on it. I got it after I defeated Leonard. Let's 
fucking glue room. She passed out huffing glue and then just imagine stupid thing. <laughs> Yeah, maybe the elevator works. Ah, uh, that's no, right over here. Damn it. <laughs> I love the Dumbledore. the first floor never mind cool there we go time for the doodle segment <laughs> uh. <sighs> <laughs> there we go wow Time for my favorite activity, drawing. We love art. Oh, cool. Speaking of fun activities, I'm gonna play uh, Tears of the Kingdom tomorrow. Like a salary man going to work. Yeah. But that just keeps getting higher. I wanna see Doc's ash? Yes. <laughs> uh. All right. Yeah. Let me win these hot drinks. And I'll be back in just a moment. Nice. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I guess we'll finish Silent Hill 3 on Tuesday. And then start... I don't know. Something else? <laughs> Friday, yahoo! That's fucked up. <laughs> it's your sim. Alright. Fix that. Fix that. Anyways, uh... <laughs> Cool. Yeah, I don't, I'll have to think of what the... Maybe I'll start working on the schedule today for next week already. <laughs> I don't really feel like playing Silent Hill 4 or any of the other Silent Hills. <laughs> I think this is enough for me. Anyways. I'll be back in a moment. Wahoo.